In this video, we are going to discuss what is MapReduce. MapReduce is one of the very important and major components in Hadoop ecosystem. Whenever we are having a large set of data, a huge data set, then in that case, the huge data set will be divided into smaller pieces and processing will be done on them in parallel in MapReduce. And multiple number of working nodes will be there on which this small pieces of this data sets will be assigned and the processing will be done in parallel and then the result will be obtained in the form of a list. MapReduce takes list as input and produces list as output and that is the main purpose of MapReduce. So let us go for some more discussion on this MapReduce. So here we are having this input and here we are having these map tasks. And then we are having the reduce tasks will be there where the reduce method will be working. Here it was working as map methods. Here it will be working the reduce methods and the final output will be obtained in the aggregated form. That is the basic theme behind this map reduce. So the map reduce is one of the main components of the Hadoop ecosystem. In our Hadoop ecosystem video, we have discussed there are so many components are there under this Hadoop ecosystem that also we had that map reduce ecosystem component. MapReduce is designed to produce a large amount of data in parallel by dividing the work into some smaller pieces and independent tasks. So large amount of data will not be processed at a time. It will be divided into smaller pieces and those pieces will be assigned to the working nodes and those tasks will be executed in parallel for the faster processing. The whole job is taken from the user and divided into smaller tasks and assign them to the working nodes. MapReduce programs take inputs as a list and convert to the output also as a list. So it will take the input as a list and it also converts the output in the form of a list. So let us go for some further criteria. The map or the mapper tasks is set of keys and values. We can say that it is, it is as a key value pair as input. So this particular data will be in the form of key value pairs. Now questions might be coming in mind that what is key and what is the value. So key is actually nothing but a reference to our data set and values are nothing but the data sets. So key can be treated as a reference to a data set or reference to a file and the value is nothing but a data set. The data may be in a structured or unstructured form and the framework can make it into keys and values. So the data set may be in the structured that means in the form of say database and database tables where the data can be divided or can be represented in the form of rows and columns and unstructured mid where we will be going for text files, PDFs, we are having the images, we are having the videos and they will be known as the unstructured data. The framework can make it into keys and values. The key are the reference of input files and values are the data sets. The user can create a custom business logic based on their need for the data processing. So what kind of processing will be done that can be customized depending upon the business need the respective operations will be carried out, the respective processing will be carried out on the data set. The task is applied on every input value. Now we are going for the reduce task. The reducer takes the key value pair which it which is created by the mapper as input. So mapper is taking the input and mapper's output will be the input to the reducer and reducer will produce the respective output accordingly. The key value pairs are shorted by the key elements in case of reducer and in the reducer we perform the shorting aggregation or summarization type of jobs that means here we are going for some aggregation type of job we can go for say summation we can go for say counting we can go for say maximum minimum calculations and so on how map reduce task works so now let us go for the the macro view of the system the given inputs are processed by the user defined methods all different business logics are working on the mapper section. So business logic will be working at the mapper section and the mapper generates intermediate data and reducers takes them as input. 
as I told you earlier that the output of the mapper will be the input to the respective reducer. The data are processed by the user defined function in the reducer section. So, the data processing will be done at the reducer section depending upon the business logic depending upon the user defined function or operation and the final output is stored in HDFS that is Hadoop distributed file system where the final result will be stored there. Now, let us go through one proper diagram here. So, you are having here HDFS split. So, multiple splits are there. So, Hadoop distributed file system split will be there. So, input will be key value pairs in this way. It will be the input will be obtained to the respective mappers. So, now here the mapping is taking place and it will be now it will be dealing with multiple keys and the respective values. So, key 1 value 1 to key k to value k in this way the mapper will be working. Now, their outputs will be coming to this shuffle and short. So, here the aggregate values by the key. So, depending upon the same key, so they will get aggregated. Then the result will be obtained. That means the output of this shuffle and short operation will be obtained to the reducer. So, these are the reduce methods are working here. So, we are having the q1 intermediate values and then key k intermediate values will be coming to the respective reducers and then final q1 and final value and final key k and final value will be obtained in this way. So, initially we are having this key k, uh, q1 value 1, key k value k in this way we are having. Then here we are having this shuffle and short, then the reduce method will be working on it. Then we are fin finally getting final key 1 value, final key k, then final value in this way the things will be obtained as output. The pictorial representation on how the map reduce task works, we have shown that one in this diagram. So, let us go for another elaborative example for the better understanding. So, here we are having one example here. So, deer, beer, river, car, car, river, deer, car, beer. So, these are the, the value sets we are having, so set of values we are having. So, now they will be splitted in this way, the splitting has been done. Now, the mapper is there. So, here the mapping is taking place. So, I am finding deer for one count, beer for count to one and river for count to one, car for count to one, car for count to one and river for count to one. In this way, the mapping is taking place. Here, we are having this shuffling and shorting. So, here you can find we are having this beer, only the beer keys are there, only the car keys are there, only the deer keys are there, only the river keys are there. Then, here we are going for the reducing. So, this beer has occurred for 2. So, here the aggregation method is count actually. So, here car has occurred for 3 times, deer has occurred for 2 times and river has occurred for 2 times. So, here this, this is my reducer which is doing the reducing and here we are having this final result that is beer 2, car 3, deer 2 and river 2. So, here you can find that how the overall map reduce what count process, are, process is getting executed into multiple different phases. So, this example is a very interesting one and also it is clear our doubts and it is clear our conception also. The pictorial representation on how the map reduce task works, we have shown that one in this way. So, in this video, we have got the idea that is what is map reduce. Thanks for watching this video.